hanging out with Canadians Abroad here with Sean Runnels, one of the um, co-founders of Desert Dunes. And uh, Desert Dunes is where we're going to be seeing a lot of action going on in the next couple of days. We have the uh, tournament tomorrow and a huge tournament, a PGA tournament on Thursday. Correct. And then uh, the Canadian California Business Council is going to be doing an event there in February right. uh, in support of March of Dimes Canada, which is what we're here you know, promoting. Absolutely. So I'd love to know, you're, you know, uh, you're, you're partnered with a couple of Canadians on this, and you're American. Right. Uh, how you got involved in this, and, and what your expertise was in this partnership? Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, being a land developer in America during the downturn, what we saw was a tightening of the equity, and capital banks were not allowing a lot of money to come in, and we started looking for alternative ways, and through another uh, project we're doing, we started looking at these foreign direct investments. And that's just a process where foreigners can invest in America, and uh, it creates a visa opportunity for them. And and in uh, the Desert Dunes project, we have a significant amount of infrastructure that has to come in for the project to be viable, and it allows a vast opportunity for Canadians to invest into a project where they get to have perhaps an ownership of a condo, and then also maybe the benefits of a visa at the other side of it. So we started producing with the Canadian Business Council an opportunity to have foreign direct investment into a project that was going to allow them that opportunity. It's very exciting. I mean, it sounds like an amazing project because um, you've got the course and you've got all these uh, condos right. that are going to be developed on the land around um, that people can buy and invest in, that Canadians can buy, um, and it's a, it's a lock and go thing so they can live right. in it and then leave if they want to go back to Canada. And the lock and leave product is a product that really doesn't have a lot of the inventory that the American problem is centered around. The American problem is centered around these single family homes out in the middle of nowhere with no amenities. So the inventory that we're creating is really in demand and that's probably why we're having the response that we're seeing in events like this is because the Canadians that came across the border in 2005-2006 had a currency exchange that was not favorable and had prices that weren't favorable and nowadays that same Canadian comes across the border gets a little bit of a favorable exchange and the price is down and their buying power is astronomically different and so that demand is not being satiated in any market and that's why we're creating a product that's going to satiate that demand. Now, did you also have a lot of experience in golf courses, or was this one of your first forays into that world? Well, in fact, you can't create a community out here that isn't involved in the <laughs> golf environment. So that is, you know, every community we have has some sort of golf element, with the caveat being that in today's market, you're not going to create a new golf course out here from scratch. So we have this beautiful asset in a Robert Chin Jones community uh, golf course, and you just can't recreate that in today's market. There's not yeah. the land or the economics available to it. Um, but all of the resort living out here is centered around an amenity of some sort and that is really how this valley has progressed. There's not a huge jobs market out here but capturing the gigantic baby boom market coming down on an amenity is what we're focused on and so all my development experience has been focused on creating a product that hits the market niche for that. Wow, well it sounds like you know exactly what you're doing which is very smart and having been uh, you know, a Canadian who lives in LA and comes out to Palm Springs a lot I've definitely noticed that there is that um, amenity centered right. uh, you know draw here right well the people that come out here come out here to recreate and to enjoy their their vacation they're on holiday as you guys call it up in Canada and there's no re yeah, there's no reason to be involved with a 3000 square foot of lawn that you have to manicure for the other 9 months that you're not here if you're here for a few months you want to lock and leave product you want to get off the airport be in your home be in an environment that is conducive to holiday and you want to be able to play golf and enjoy time with your friends and that opportunity has not been available to the Canadians and to other people really in America since the since before the downturn. With the downturn, it's available. Your currency is in the perfect position to do it, and Canadians are capitalizing on it, and that's all we want. Well, that sounds incredible. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck in the, uh, in the next couple, uh, well, in this week with the golf tournament Absolutely. and also with the development of this um, community. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for chatting with you us. Bet. Samantha Goodstadt, and you've been watching Canadians Abroad. Back, back.